Money's Greatest Hits, 95.5 Hits FM. Steelers Wheel with Jerry Rafferty. I'm stuck in the middle with you, and I got roundly spanked on Facebook when after he passed away and I posted as my status that I've seen the seating plan for Jerry Rafferty's funeral as clowns to the left, jokers to the right. People got mad at me. It was too soon, Mark. I thought it was just clever. It was too soon. Too soon. Sunny, breezy, and a high of zero. It's minus 10 right now with Mark and Ingrid in the morning. And we are pleased to welcome our next guest to the show. Loved him on the series Dragon Den, Dragon's Den. Also, when it's Shark Tank and Lang and O'Leary Exchange, you know him from all sorts of appearances. Kevin O'Leary joins us this morning. Good morning, Mr. O'Leary. Hello. Good morning, Mark and Ingrid. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Now, I've, after reading that extensive uh, biography, I'm shocked you're bringing your jazz trio to town. Is that what's going on? <laughs> I really enjoy events like this. You know, yeah. We call it O'Leary Live, the cold, hard truth about money. And I've been doing this for about a couple of years now. And I, here's my thinking about this. If you're an entrepreneur and you've had some success and you've enjoyed doing it, because that's what being an entrepreneur is, you owe others to share what you did right, what you did wrong, the mistakes you made, what you've learned, because maybe you'll help somebody else launch a business and be successful. That's why I do it. Now, you're coming to the Empire Theater on Monday, May 2nd. Tickets go on sale this Friday at 10 o'clock at the box office. And uh, you're going to share your knowledge, you know, what you can tell people about investing and how to make money, how to take chances. Well, you know, we have a lot of fun. I sort of divide it into three parts. First is the making of television. So I bring with me some really interesting outtakes that no one's seen. Because, you know, when you make a show like Dragon Center or Shark Tank, you tape for 11 hours, and only one hour of that goes on the air. That means most of it people never see. Mm -hmm. And I bring some of those moments that are really crazy, and I think people enjoy that. And secondly, I like to talk a little bit about you know, what I think makes things work for you when you're trying to run a business or start a business. Because you know, I've done that myself, and I've learned the hard way, and I think passing on that information is paramount. That's really why I do this. And, and then, of course, we open it up for questions, and that's the part I enjoy the most. Yeah. Now, Kevin, have you ever walked away from Dragon's Den or Shark Tank and thought, you know what, I, I was probably too rough on that person. I, you know, I, I maybe should have sugarcoated a little bit. Ingrid, never. I just tell the truth. And if you can't take it, too bad. Because, you know, the thing about money is there's no gray. You either make it or you lose it. It's really difficult to tell somebody to go on and pursue something that you know in your heart isn't going to work. If you know it's a bad idea, tell them the truth, because often their family won't. They've never tested it in the real market. They've only had the encouragement of their friends and family who don't want to let them down. I don't care about that. I'll tell them the truth. I want to make money with them. I don't want to be their friends. Now, we had a local entrepreneur here. I don't know if you remember Randy Ewens and Rhino Bags. Oh, I do remember He was Rhino on Bags. the show. So when you have somebody local who turns, you see on TV, you hear the feedback, you watch him run his business, that gives you a different perspective than just somebody that you see who's from Calgary. Now, you're, you're totally right about that. But remember, in a business, when you think about, and I've, I've been doing this now for years, I can tell you there's three attributes about people that are successful and get, and, and get the, the investment. And they're off the, you know, it doesn't matter what sector, what, I, what the idea was, or who they were. These three things are always a constant. In fact, we've had a professor come in and do research on this. Number one is they're able to articulate their idea in 90 seconds or less in a way that you as an investor completely understand the opportunity. That's the most powerful, the ability to communicate your vision. Secondly, and this is more complicated, and this is really the nuts and bolts of it, are they the right person to actually execute the business plan? Because think about this. A great idea is different than actually executing it. You can have a great idea, but you may not be a good manager. So secondly, those people were able to say, look, here's why you should give me your money and why I can execute the plan. And thirdly, and I call this the magic of being an entrepreneur. You know, someone once asked Napoleon, what kind of generals do you like? And he said, I like lucky generals. <laughs> well, I like lucky entrepreneurs, and I can feel that vibe in the room when it starts to come together. Great idea pitched in 90 seconds. They explained why they can implement the plan. That, that aura, it's like an isotope sizzling. It's, it's magic, and I want to write them a check. Now, Kevin, there are people who will come to your session and think, well, okay, I'm not an entrepreneur. Does that mean I'm never going to get rich? Um, no, you... no, that's not true. I think it's important just to understand money and life and investing. I mean, that's part of why I do this. I don't think we teach our children enough about how to manage their own money and how to go through life understanding the value of money and how, how, how hard it is to make and how it's even harder to keep and save. That's what my message is all about. I think there's something for everybody in a presentation like this because 
I really, really care about people's money. And I don't think they think enough about it because the only thing that's going to love you when you're old and crusty with your toes in the water at the end of your dock is the money in your bank account. <laughs> Even your dog won't care about you. Oh, I want a dog. Some life lessons about that. <laughs> well, you're coming to the Empire Theater Monday, May 2nd, 7 o'clock. Tickets go on sale this Friday. There's a VIP package, a meet and greet reception, and uh, there's tickets for the show. Can't wait to see it and get some good financial advice from you. I can't wait to get there. We're going to have fun. Different vibe coming up on Dragon's Den. Everything okay with that with Brad leaving? Well, it's very interesting, you know. Yeah. I think and he and I would, would lock horns all the time yeah. because I thought he was more of a philanthropist, just giving money away. And I think that show isn't about charity. It's about making money and teaching people how to do that. So he and I would often argue about it. But he's a great guy, and I'm sad to see him go. But, you know, as they say on television, poo-poo happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there ever, was there one idea that you saw that you, you would wish you'd gotten in on and you didn't? You know, I never think that way because there's always another great opportunity coming up soon. There's so many great ideas and wonderful entrepreneurs. I never lose sleep over an idea I didn't invest in. Yeah, because it's funny. Even when the economy is up, the economy is down. The wealthy keep making money because they know what they're doing. Because we take chances, we take risks. But I will say this. You've got to invest in a lot of ideas because it's serendipitous on which ones work. You have no idea. It just happens. So I've got lots and lots and lots of them. And usually the ones that I think aren't going to work are the big winners. Yeah. <laughs> you just never know. You should, have, uh, you should have answered Zuckerberg's line, though, when he called, you know, for Facebook. You should have picked up the phone that day. <laughs> that was a great one. But, you know, you have to invest in 100 deals to get one of those. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Kevin, that's awesome. We're looking forward to having you in town. Good luck with it. And uh, we'll be in touch in the future. Thank you very much. Take care. Thanks so much for joining us. Kevin O'Leary, Dragon's Den, Shark Tank, and coming to the Empire Theater on May 2nd. Tickets on sale on Friday.